Yo, what's going on guys? Jekyll here. Today we've got another blackout video for you guys. Uh, if you're just tuning in, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I'm uploading. And for those of you who are subscribed, thank you guys. You guys are well appreciated. Just love it. Love it, guys. Um, anyways, today we're getting into a video talking about the route that I took to unlock all my characters. I have all the blackout characters unlocked, so I'm going to show you guys the route that I took and I played solo mostly. Anyways guys, hit the like, subscribe, stay tuned for more great BO4 clips and videos. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon. Hey yes guys, what's going on today? This is it. This is the strat, the route that I took to unlock all my characters. There's so many supply drops and little crates and health boxes and stuff like that in this area. So what you're going to want to do, I'm playing solo, that's what I played most of the time to unlock my characters. But this is the spot you want to land right here. Boom, you got a crate spot right here. There's Juanu dog tags already. Um, so this area here alone has three spawn spots. You're gonna wanna check the roofs of all the buildings because that building over there also has a spawn spot for a supply drop. Um, this this route seems to be the luckiest one for me for the burn doll for fire break. Uh, the Juanu tags, um, you can get all your zombie characters from this route as well. Except for like Nikolai and uh, Richtofen and stuff like that, but that will get you all the. There's a supply drop that actually drops in front of this cashier counter right there, so that's a good spot to get a supply drop and get a character as well. But once you've checked the roofs of those two buildings, check that top building here, the top of this building. Um, there's so many supply drops that drop around this area, guys. And this area is usually not so hot, like it's not busy, so you're good that way. Next, what you're gonna wanna do after you check this roof, sometimes there is a quad right here to the right off the building right there. I just seen it, that's the one we, you can take to the next spot here where the supply drops are. You have to watch the circle in this area. You might have to go quick to get the supply drops and stuff like that, but I'm gonna show you guys the route. This is it. This is the one that will unlock you fire break and all those other characters that are in supply drops or supply crates. So once you hit up that little spot where I just was here, you're gonna to wanna to come in here because there is also a crate that lands in front of this cash spot right here. So that one is a good one too for Juanu. Usually I get Juanu around there. You get a little ammo crate there too, so that's good. But these buildings and stuff, guys, there's so many good guns and stuff inside the buildings. So even if you do not get a character, you can go for the win because you get all these good guns and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, so once you've hit up this spot, guys, and hit up this area, this building, uh, you check the roof of this building as well. You climb around the back and there's a ladder there you can climb up top. I've also seen a crate uh, spawn in right there. Um... So like I say, once you've checked this area, check the roof of this building, check the roof of the next building beside, because um, there's also a drop that goes there. There goes somebody on a quad right by me there. Okay, so once you've checked that building, guys, come up to this area. Just get on the quad, because sometimes the box is on that roof, but a lot of the times it's on this other roof right here, so you're going to want to check this roof right here. Once you get up top here, the crate spawns right there to the left, right here. Um, and if it's not there, next you're gonna wanna jump across and go to the beach area, like across the water to where the zombies are and stuff. So, I have a guy here, so we're gonna try and find him quick, but there he is. Nope, that's not him. That wasn't him. He must have fled the scene. Yeah, so this little town, guys, there's a few spots for it to spawn to. Like I say, on the roofs, check the roofs of all the buildings. Um, check inside just for good guns and stuff like that. There's some good loot in these buildings. So once you've done this side of the, the river, this is as far as I would go because a lot more of the drops are across the river now. So what you're gonna wanna do is jump across. You can grab a quad and go back across the bridge, but there's also a quad over here to the left. So you're fine there for a quad. But what you're gonna wanna do is swim up across, get up top, get up top of this thing, jump up, and there's a crate that spawns right there. A little ammo crate spawns there as well. So you have this roof too. Sometimes the box spawns, but more than likely, it's gonna be on the next roof, not this one. But I check the roofs because you never know, could spawn there. But yeah, the box will spawn on this roof more 
than the other one right there where that little health pack is so you have those roofs and the city before that so you can get your supply drop your zombie characters from the zombie box right there kill your zombies and get scarlet and stuff like that you can get uh, uh, what's his name Shaw from there too from the box so once you've hit up that town guys move up the hill because by this little campfire here sometimes there's a box too check in here just to be safe but right here guys is where it will create drops sometimes so that will get you uh, more characters so fire break is more I've found it more likely to spawn on the other side of the river up on those roofs and stuff like that that's where I've found fire break the most um, fire break is hard hard to find right now it's so rare to get that dull but you have this spot here too guys just keep working your way a lot of the time the circle comes in your favor and it's on the way so you could just stop at all these spots and stuff like that um, so once you've hit this spot up guys you're gonna want to move to the next little town here I get this guy get a kill here me and this guy battle her out for a minute <clears throat> just a quick minute <clears throat> Uh, don't forget to subscribe guys if you haven't already because I got sweet clips, long shots, and just going ham Sam. That's what we do guys. That's what we do. We go ham Sam. Um, a lot of, I'm going to upload uh, the best landing spots for each little town. Like, uh, what did I do already? I did Rivertown. I got train station coming up tomorrow, so check out that video, the best spot to land at uh, train station and how to run train station so you stay alive and get all the kills. Solo is mostly what I play. I do play with my buds, but I like to play solo for some reason, I don't know why. It's fun. It's fun to me. It's fun to me. So there's those two buildings that I just looked at. There's crates in the top of the roofs of those other buildings back there. Um, but that's pretty much the route, guys. Once you get across to Rivertown here, there's just crates spots that spawn all around river town there's also that little building over there sometimes a crate spawns inside of it so these crates will unlock you fire break nomad um who else you can get uh, the chain coins also from this route um torque note you can get but that's pretty much it guys just run that route run it and run it and run it that's what i did i just kept running that route because I've ran that route so many times, I know where the supply drops land, and there's just so many spots. So, Rivertown, guys, is just usually busy and stuff like that. It depends on where the circle is, where you're going to go from there. Um, Rivertown has a lot, a lot of drops that spawn inside of it, too. So, just keep running that route, guys, and you will unlock Firebreak, and you will unlock all the crate characters and stuff like that that are in the crates, little crate box there. Um... But that's pretty much it guys, that's the route. I'm gonna end it here because there's just so many crate spots from here on out, it would just take forever for me to make a video on it. So like I said, hit the like, subscribe guys, turn notifications on so you know when I'm uploading these sweet spots and little strats and stuff like that. Um, check my Twitter and follow me on Insta and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe guys. Let's get those subscribes up. We got 65 I think right now, let's get it up to 100. Let's get up to 100. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, all the support and stuff like that from you guys. You guys are so sick. Thanks, guys, and peace out.